Hey, what's up, coach? Uh, yeah, so, you know, the old saying, uh, better late than never, uh, if you're a believer in that. Uh, I had wanted to do something special for your 60th birthday, and uh, I wanted to do something extra special, and just got caught up in, in life and didn't get done in time. So um, I wanted to wish you a happy, it's probably 61st birthday about now. Is that about right? And I uh, just wanted to tell you how much you meant to me. You know, looking back, actually, you only coached me for about uh, two seasons, I think. And, um, you know, bar none, you're the best baseball coach I've ever had. Um, I'm now manager of a team out here, and um, I, uh, I model my coaching uh, after, after how you coach. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. I, I completely model everything I do on the field here uh, on how you, how you managed and how you coached. Um, and to be honest with you, my teaching is, uh, you know, kind of based on how you treated young people, how you related to young people. Um, you know, when you first came out to co coach for us, you were a pretty intimidating guy. <laughs> you were a pretty intense looking dude, beard and the mustache and, uh, you know, and skinny little 16 year old kid. Uh, you're a pretty intimidating guy. And um, this turned out to be the, the warmest, most compassionate coach ever had. Uh, you know, you come in and you give us give us the lowdown for the for the game and tell us what we were gonna do. Then you look around the, the team and you go, and I want you to know one other thing. I love each and every one of you. And uh, you know, who, what coach says that? Um, so, you know, I don't know some of the stories, uh, some of the great stories. I mean, uh, going on that uh, one trip that we took. Uh, you know, at one point, I believe. Uh, Woke up the next morning and you'd you'd lost your center fielder, uh, I believe, to the arms of one of the local fans. Maybe <laughs> had to go out and find him. And I, you know, I didn't know nothing ever seemed to phase you. Maybe it had something to do with the, the job that uh, you do in the regular time that any of our shenanigans weren't going to stretch you out. Um, and of course, there's the well. I mean, in the tournament, I mean, you always got 120 percent out of us. We always played beyond, well beyond our abilities for you. And that's a direct consequence of how you related to us, how you inspired us, how you encouraged us, how you didn't get down on us. Um, yeah, it's just phenomenal. I, I have such warm memories of that team, and it's, we're now uh, we're now talking over 30 years ago. Uh, and then, of course, driving back, uh, and uh, was it cherries or was it strawberries? A um, little bit of that's on you. You let a whole bunch of 16-year-olds get onto a bus with uh, crates of strawberries. <laughs> Uh, you know, you're just driving along and they're flying everywhere and it doesn't even seem to bother. I mean, I'm sure it bothered you, but it, it you know, you didn't freak out or anything. You just said, well, 16 year olds, they're going to let off some steam. So, um, yeah. And, um, you know, one, one story I will tell you is, uh, don't worry. Uh, one story I will tell you, um, you at, um, Sorry, team's coming for the game. Um, <clears throat> I was getting on the bus after one of those games down on that on that road trip we took, and uh, I had I had had a good game. He said to me, Gideon, when you uh, when you break into the to the bigs, will you let me come to your first game? And you were blowing smoke, <laughs> but um, you know, just uh, an adult that's important to you in your life, believing in you like that. It, I can see that scene today, thirty some odd years ago. It meant so much to me. And it meant stuff. To, it meant a lot to me when there were times where I was in college and struggling, or, or uh, all the different times and stuff. So, um, you know, uh, pretty special person. Anyway, I wanted to do something to uh, to honor you. I hope you don't mind. I hope this isn't weird. Uh, but I wanted to bring a little bit of uh, the, the John Costa mojo uh, out here onto the field, honor you for your birthday and stuff. So, hope that's okay. Hope you can see it. Everybody asked me, wait, I thought you were a burger. So uh, anyway, coach, um, uh, thank you so much for everything. Have a, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. And um, yeah, I love you and aloha. Okay, I was gonna tell him I love him, but he just, you gotta be the right guy to pull that off. <laughs> Bye coach.